The innocents were slaughtered as infants for Christ. Spotless, they follow the Lamb and sing forever, glory to you, O Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son. Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, whom the holy innocents confessed and proclaimed on this day, not by speaking, but by dying. Grant, we pray, that the faith in you which we confess with our lips may also speak through our manner of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, this is the message that we have heard from Jesus Christ and proclaim to you. God is light and in him there is no darkness at all. If we say we have fellowship with him while we continue to walk in darkness, we lie and do not act in truth. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, then we have fellowship with one another. And the blood of his son, Jesus, cleanses us from all sin. If we say we are without sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we acknowledge our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive our sins and cleanse us from every wrongdoing. If we say, we have not sinned, we make him a liar, and his word is not in us. My children, I am writing this to you so that you may not commit sin. But if anyone does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous one. He is expiation for our sins, and not for our sins alone but for those of the whole world. The word of the Lord. 
our soul has been rescued like a bird from the fowler's snare. Our soul has been rescued like a bird from the fowler's snare. Had not the Lord been with us when men rose up against us, then would they have swallowed us alive when their fury was inflamed against us. Our soul has been rescued like a bird from the fowler's snare. Then would the waters have overwhelmed us. The torrent would have swept over us. Over us then would have swept the raging waters. Our soul has been rescued like a bird from the fowler's snare. Broken was the snare and we were freed. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Our soul has been rescued like a bird from the fowler's snare. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. We praise you, O God. We acclaim you as Lord. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When the Magi had departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, Rise, take the child and his mother, flee to Egypt, and stay there until I tell you. Herod is going to search for the child to destroy him. Joseph rose and took the child and his mother by night and departed for Egypt. He stayed there until the death of Herod, that what the Lord had said through the prophets might be fulfilled. Out of Egypt, I called my son. When Herod realized that he had been deceived by the Magi, he became furious. He ordered the massacre of all the boys in Bethlehem and its vicinity, two years old and under. In accordance with the time he had ascertained from the Magi. Then was fulfilled what had been said through Jeremiah the prophet. A voice was heard in Ramah, sobbing and loud lamentation, Rachel weeping for her children, and she would not be consoled since they were no more. The Gospel of the Lord. So it is a pleasant surprise that we are back in our beautiful church. Then perhaps we we should pray for more rain going forward. The fathers and I were very blessed to return to the Abbey on Christmas Day. And upon arriving there, we are always greeted with the faces of many young seminarians. And it reminds us that we are no longer what I would term father median, meaning there is a priest at the Abbey who would chart out the ages of all the confreres. The oldest, presumably, he would be in his 90s, and the youngest would be in his, a frother would be in his late teens or early 20s. So you can imagine we have frauders and they're all born in the 90s. And so I used to be father average or father median, whereas that is a much younger age now. Perhaps Father Brendan is father median at this point. And you, as you, some of you know, we are blessed with seven new novices, seven new novices. So let me see if I can get their names correctly. This would be in order of seniority from youngest, from oldest to youngest. 
the oldest frater, his name would be Frater Tiago, after St. James, St. James the Great Apostle. We have a parish, Santiago de Compostela, in our diocese. And then you have Frater Killian, the great bishop and martyr. And then you have Frater Ignacio, named after the great Jesuit founder, St. Ignatius of Loyola. And then we have Frater Gilbert. He's actually from the UK, Frater Gilbert, named after the great Norbertine abbot. And then we have Frater Columban. Frater Columban. I hope I'm getting the sequence correctly here. And then we have Frater Raphael. Frater Raphael, the archangel. And then rounding out the, li the least, the list, <laughs> we have Frater Peter. Frater Peter. So I think that would be seven. And I have my own way of memorizing. I just think about the Magnificent Seven or the Seventh Samurai, and I just make random association. <laughs> Hopefully that worked. And the reason why I make sure I commit their names to memory is because when I was a newly vested frater, it was always a source of mortification when you look at the older priests and they have no idea who you are. And it's one of those things where as confers, it's always the little things. Just like in the merry light life, it is always the little details that prove to be important. So we ought to be attentive to the little details of each day. Sometimes people think they have grandiose ideas of being martyred for the faith, of dying for the faith. But I always remind people that you have an opportunity to shed your blood every second. It's the little crosses that you're asked to carry. Mortifying yourself so that you can maintain a spirit of silence, in, so that you can have interior silence. And then also perhaps making sure that, that the school of Nazareth, which we are celebrating, is preserved meaning family life, family life. And all of you, you can all go home and, and practice that same spirit of mortification and discipline by being attentive to the needs of one another. So that school of Nazareth, which we should always enter into, is a very important thing. When I speak to the frauders, I always tell them that you know, the honeymoon phase will eventually wear off like anything in life. And then it, then it becomes, then the real battle begins. You enter for the cross. You enter for the cross. So don't, don't murmur or lament when things are difficult because that's how you die to yourself. So through the intercession of the holy innocence, may we shed our blood daily by dying to ourselves so that we can rise and be renewed in Christ. The Lord has promised to hear the prayers of the faithful. Let us lift our hearts and intentions to him. That God's gracious mercy may be upon every member of his holy church in living out the gospel message. Let us pray to the Lord. that civic leaders may have the guidance of the Holy Spirit in serving with humility, compassion, and justice. Let us pray to the Lord. Amen. That all those oppressed or persecuted may know God's blessing of courage, perseverance, and justice. Let us pray to the Lord. 
that this community of worship may grow in the love and fellowship of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. That those who have died, and we pray especially for the repose of the soul of Fernando Chaprintier. May they know the comfort and peace of God's loving embrace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. God of light, hear our prayers on behalf of the whole world in need of your love and mercy. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your devoted servants, and purify us as we faithfully serve these, your mysteries by which you grant justification even to those who lack understanding. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through him, the holy exchange that restores our life has shown forth today in splendor when our frailty is assumed by your word. Not only does human mortality receive unending honor, but by this wondrous union, we too are made eternal. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, 
broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. <clears throat> Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Kevin, our Bishop, Timothy and Ton, his assistant bishops, and all the clergy. <clears throat> Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, abundant salvation to your faithful as they receive your holy gifts on the feast day of these your servants, these your saints, who though still unable to profess your Son in speech, were crowned with heavenly grace on account of his birth, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.